Hello everyone, this is Dr. Howard coming to you live again on one of the most important verbs that everyone uses in the English language. Can you name me the verb? Alright, if you say to be, then you are absolutely correct. Again, to be. Say it with me, to be. So, the verb to be has many forms. Can you tell me the forms? of to be all right so if you say i you are right if you say is you are correct if you say are that's correct now so i is are these right here are used in the present present means today present means at this moment present means momentarily Present means things or events that happen at this time, okay? At this time. So you can say today or you can say 2019, which is right now. We are in the present time. So when you use to be for I, which is the subject, I, you say I am. He, John. Yiman, she, or Lisa, she, or this is a marker, it, a dog, it. So if you say he, she, or it, then to be for the present is is. Now, you, I'm talking to you. You and I become we. If I'm talking about Kayla and Ellen, or Minduk, and Jam, okay, or Minduk and Hong, or John and Mike. If I say two people or more, then become they. So you can be singular, you can be plural, we or they. So when I have plural and you, I have to use are, which is now. Now, the past of am is was. The past of is is was. The past of are is were. These are in the past. Right now is 2019. But the past of 2019 was 2018. So this is the past last year or yesterday or minutes ago. Then, you have the present, which is now. You have the past, yesterday or last year. But, what about tomorrow? Tomorrow. So, tomorrow you will have future. So, the future of to be is, will be. Will be. Okay? Then, you also have what you call progressive. Progressive means something that has start and it's continue at the present moment. There's a time, a duration of time. So progressive, some people will say continuous. So the, the, the progressive or continuous form of to be is be in, be in. Well, to be also has another form called being. So when we use being, being, there are three different ways to use being. Being can be present perfect or past perfect. When we use present perfect, we want something that started in the past but did not finish. However, it might continue into some time we don't know. So when we use present perfect, an event, an activity started last year, but it did not finish, and we don't know when it will finish. Now, let's say there was an activity, it started in the past, but it's finished, it's completed, it's done, it's finished, then we will have to use past perfect. So when we use past perfect, we have to use the past of has 
or have, which is had. So when we use present perfect, you have to say he, she, it has, or you, we, they have. So again, these are the forms of to be. So say with me, am, is, are, was, was, were, will be, be in, been. Okay, so these are the forms of to be. Okay, so for example, say together, I, I, a bus driver. Now, what is the subject of the sentence? This right here is called a sentence. You have one, two, three, four, five. Follow with a period. This is called a sentence or a statement. Okay, this is a sentence or a statement. In order to have a sentence, we need to have what you call right here, the subject. We need to have the subject. Okay? Then, we need to have this part right here. We need to have the verb. After the subject, to right here. This part and this part is called the predicate. Okay? So, the subject here is I. Now, this sentence doesn't have time. So, we are using the verb to be. Okay? So, look for I, and you can use I am a bus driver. Or, I was a bus driver. Because the sentence doesn't have time. It can be in the past, it can be in the present. Or, you can say, I will be a bus driver. Then, this will be the future. Okay? So, let's try this. Now, what is the subject here? Great. If you say I, that is the subject. Do we have a verb? No, the verb is missing. Good. We need a verb here. Now, is this sentence is in the present or in the past? Or future? Do you see the time in the sentence? Say together. I a doctor in 2018. Is this person a past? Fantastic. If you say this is the past, then what forms of to be are you going to put here? So you have to say I was a doctor. Okay? Now, let's say you, you were a doctor, but you're no longer a doctor. You can also say, you can also say, I had been a doctor. I had been a doctor for several months in 2018 because you were a doctor, but you are no longer a doctor. So, because in the past, you can say, I was a doctor, or I had been a doctor. You're talking about the experience that you had, okay? So this is great.
Now, so what if I change to a different subject? Okay, so let's see if you can do another subject. Okay. Okay, so say together, Lisa, a nurse in 2018, but she, a doctor now. What form of to be can you use there? I will give you one minute. So, is Lisa, what is the gender? What is the gender? What is this? This is called gender. Gender is male or female. He or she. That's gender. Okay? Gender. So what's the gender for Lisa? Great. Lisa is a female. She. Daughter. Mother. So she she what? She was a nurse. Why? It's in the past. I agree with you. What happened now? So what forms of to be are you going to use? Excellent. Lisa is. Great job. Okay. So let's try this here, number two. Okay, so can you use to be for this sentence here? Three, a business owner since 2018. Her business operated by her husband. Now, you see the word since? This is a continuation of an activity that started in the past and continue into the present or into a point that has no end. We don't know when this will finish. So what form of to be can we put on the lines here? So what is the gender for three? Thuy is a Vietnamese name and is generally referred to a female. Thuy is a female. So, because it's a female, we're going to use he or she. Great, she. So, now, this right here, we have to use present perfect. So, we have to say Thuy has been. Three has been because present perfect is continued. So three has been a business owner since 2018. Okay, I'm going to put right here so we can know the time. Okay, so now her business. Her business is what? Is her business a person? Well, 
This doesn't have a name. This is not a person. So then we have to use it. So right now, remember, this is business. Business is not a person. It cannot do anything. It cannot perform an action. So we are going to use what we call passive voice. So we're going to say her business is being operated by her husband now. This sentence here means that her husband operates her business. Her husband manages her business. Okay? It's being operated. This is called passive void, but it's a passive void progressive. Present progressive. Okay? So, I will put some sentences up here. I want to see if you're able to finish them, to do them. Okay. Okay, so I have two sentences here and I want you to use the form of two B's, okay? So, repeat after me. Araya is a male student. He, in his country in 2018. Araya, in the United States since 2001. Farah and Calvin working at a company in Vietnam in 2009. Now they working in a different country.
company. In the future, they working for a new company. So what form of to be can you use? I will give you one minute to think. So, what is the subject in sentence one? If you say a writer or he, then you are correct. Is this present or past? If you say past, you are absolutely correct. So if it's the past, then we have to use was. He was. Did you have it correct? Araya in 2001. Is that past or present? Okay, past, but we have the word since. So that means continue into a time we don't know. So since Araya, is a he, we're going to you has. Okay? So he has been. This is called the present perfect. Something start in the past, but continue into a time we don't know when. Now, number two, we have Farah and Calvin. How many people? Two. So two, we change to the pronoun. What kind of subject pronoun for Pharaoh and Calvin. If you say day, then you are correct. So, in the sentence, what is the time? 2009, present or past or future? It's past, so we say they what? They were. Now, they what? They are. In the future, what is the future to be? They will be working. So if you have these forms used in a correct way, you understand how to use to be. Okay? So these are the different forms of to be. Okay? So this is Dr. Wynn, Dr. Howard.